Are you wanting to make money trading cryptocurrencies? I'm not talking investing, which is gambling. You're taking your hard-earned money and throwing it into a casino. You don't know if it's going to go up or down or sideways, right? I'm talking about consistently using odds to your favor to pull out money and take that, that money, those profits, and invest free money into cryptocurrency. That's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to start from the ground level. So if you already know a little bit about you know, trading and whatnot, then just skip past this video. This is for the noob. Okay, so first things first, you're probably buying cryptocurrency on Coinbase or PayPal or Robinhood or whatever. Look, all I can tell you is this. You don't buy cryptocurrency. The way that I'm doing it, I'm going to tell you exactly how I'm doing it. First things first, I'm buying this US dollar coin, not Ethereum, not Bitcoin. I'm buying US dollar coin, and I'll explain why here in a second. Now, once I buy this coin, then what's going to happen is, is I'm going to need to withdraw it from Coinbase into an exchange. I, I don't use Coinbase. The fees are insane um, because I'm going to be trading a lot. I don't want to pay those fees. They're just expensive. Okay. Um, so I am currently using KuCoin, but I also use Kraken um, to wire money into my bank account. Uh, they do have KYC. Um, I'm not going to explain a lot of these words. You're just going to have to Google them because this video is going to be way too long. But you know, Kraken does KYC. Coinbase is about to do KYC. KuCoin does not do KYC, but they will eventually do the know your customer and you'll have to enter information and basically pay taxes. <laughs> like So um, Coinbase Pro is Coinbase's trading platform. Um, so if you're going to trade, then you're going to use Coinbase Pro, not this Coinbase. This is just for like suckers that want to pay you know fees. Um, and I learned the hard way. So anyways, let's just get right into it. So um, you're going to need to understand how to use uh, wallet addresses. And this is the biggest piece of advice you'll ever hear that's going to be valuable in your crypto experience. When you are transferring money from, let's say, a Coinbase wallet to KuCoin's wallet, this is, this is gosh, I know it's like simple, but I'm telling you right now, this is groundbreaking. You're going to test a small amount. Boop, just transfer a small amount of money from Coinbase into KuCoin and see if it transfers. And if it does and it's successful, then you transfer the amount that you want to transfer. Pff, mic drop. I know it's like, duh, but at the same time, come on. So, okay, now you've got your money in, let's say, KuCoin. Now you're going to need an interface. Um, I am using Altrady. Uh, it's kind of like the tool right now. Like, it's just, it's the best. You pay money for it. There's a 14-day trial mess around with it. Um, if you want it to look like mine, it's going to start out looking like basic and then you switch it to default and, and then it'll look like this. Um, so what you're going to want to know is this, how to connect your account with Altrady. And look, they've got tutorials and they explain like how to add an API key to connect to Altrady. Now, don't be freaked out. An API key is basically just, it's like a login that they give you. It's just a username and a password, but they call it, you know, keys. Um, but if you already know what an API key is, you're like, duh. But if you don't know, don't feel dumb. It's like not the easiest thing. But anyways, API keys, you can create one. It's really simple. Again, the tutorial's right here. It'll tell you how to do it. Isn't that great? Just all tradey support, like nice and simple. Look, here's how to do Kraken. Oh, look, here's KuCoin. Oh, wow. Okay, so don't worry. You got it covered. And they've got this little like chat bubble. You can talk to these people like Real friendly, real easy to do. So now you got your exchange set up, right? Let's just say you've got KuCoin. And now you're looking at this chart. Look, this is Bitcoin. And you can actually right click on this and say, you know, create a buy order, create a sell order. Now I am using a strategy, okay? And the strategy is basically buy low, sell high. And while that sounds really simple, there's a million other strategies out in this world and I've tested them all. This is just what I'm doing myself. I wish there was a better strategy than this because Honestly, it's really dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. The moment you know what you're doing, it's the easiest strategy of all time. So um, let me see if I can find an example of how the strategy works. Um, and I think it's, let me go to recent, this one. Okay, so buy low, sell high. Look at that. So these little green arrows, it says buy low, sell high. Now, how do I know that I am buying low? Because... See this, this, this is a line right here, and this is what I call the wholesale line. So anything below this is wholesale. And basically it's just, okay, this is, the, this is the price that the cryptocurrency is at, and then it goes on sale. And so I buy it just like Black Friday, I get it you know, a certain percentage on sale, and ideally I was wanting this to come down to here, and it didn't, I had more that I was willing to buy because I'm buying small, medium, large, extra large. Um, if you want to learn more information on the strategy, I will put a link to the creator of the strategy. His name is Quickfingers Luke. Real nice dude. He's from Canada. That 
is just like additional bonus points because he's just that much more friendly. He made a series of videos for free showing this hack trick technique of buying things on sale and didn't ask for anything. He just gave the videos away for free. And now there's all these great communities. This person has created this like free algorithm that uh, is based around his strategy. And then if you click on alerts, then you can get um, telegram alerts on your phone. So you can see when something's like going on sale. And then there's like hollow discussion. And, and there's like groups of people that are just like really friendly and everybody's helping and encouraging each other to like not lose money um, because this is a very, you know, scam environment cryptocurrency is like full of just like scams and so it's nice to connect with people that are you know on the same team you know um so anyways yeah hodlu this is like a free service and um similar to all trading now all trading's version is right here that you've got the bases um and these are just like on sale opportunities um you got to stay away from these 3s you know the long and short like when you're first starting out also there's like such a thing called crap coins and basically like you have to do a little bit of research on like what coins are safe to trade and ironically enough the safest coins to trade are going to be um on coinbase and kraken like those are going to be you know basically they're vetted and they're um th th they have less crap coins basically and so the best way of doing that um is to just do a little bit of research there's a website called coin market cap i'm just not going to get into that but like these are coins that are across multiple exchanges and they're less likely to be you know, delisted. So let's say you're trading a crap coin and then one day you wake up and they're like, we don't accept that coin anymore. We well, got a bunch of money in that coin. All of a sudden your money's worth zero. So stay away from the crap coins, focus on like the good coins, but you want, you know, coins that move at the same time. Um, that's just, a, that's just like a researching thing that you have to do in your own time is like find coins and you, you can ask people in groups. They'll tell you like, Oh, I love ADA. You know, I love, uh, look, there's Litecoin. I mean, you can trade the classics like Bitcoin. They just the, the older they are, the slower they move. Um, so if they're newer, they're like a little bit more hot and they move faster and they go on sale a little bit more. Um, here's what you need to know about this strategy, just so you don't lose money, is like there's different time frames on this chart. You know, this is basically like a price chart and we're moving forward in time and the price, you can see it goes on sale and then it kind of jumps back up and then it comes back down and then it goes back up and you, you get the idea like I'm going to probably buy some more. Look, I have an alert right here. So when it crosses that line, I'm going to buy some more down here, small, medium, large, extra large. Um, let's talk about how the layering process would work. Um, so let me pause this and pull up Quickfingers Luke's uh, stuff. Okay, so here's a screenshot and he's explaining, hey, look, when price goes in a panic, um, then what happens is, is that there's an opportunity to buy on sale and it'll retract back up. It's sometimes called buying the dip. Sometimes it's called the dead cat bounce. But what you're looking for are two things. You want it to cross the wholesale line, rule number one, cross the wholesale line which is, you see these Vs, these letter Vs, that's what you're looking for, a letter V, and then it crosses down past the letter V, and as it starts to go down, look at how far down it usually drops. It's about the same length, rip, 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 rip. And then he's saying, now look, I know you may not have $1,000 and $50,000, so drop off a zero or drop off two zeros. Let's drop off two zeros. $10 you're gonna buy right here, another $10 you're gonna buy right here, $100 you're gonna buy in this area right here. And then $500, you're not gonna buy it because it doesn't go down that low, but you'll be prepared for it if it does go down that low, okay? So now that you know the layering strategy, let's focus on you know the, the mentality behind this. And that is the faster and deeper the fall, the safer the trade. Another one, we're completely safe with bases. These wholesale lines that we're drawing, um, you know, that's, that's what he's saying is we're completely safe with them. Now layering where you do small, medium, large, extra large, he's saying layering is a bit of an art when you're in a safe circle meaning when you're in a zone where it's on sale and the price is dropping fast, you have to know that the lower it goes, the safer it is to buy. Pause. Now, when it's dropping that fast, most people are like, I wouldn't touch that with a 10 foot pole. Not you, but you're not gonna buy all at once. You're gonna do what he's saying uh, and, and buying $10, $10, 35, 150, 000. You see how that works? Um, so let's, let's continue to read. Um, there will come a point where the price is so ridiculously low that anyone with money will be willing to buy all they can get their hands on. So the trick is to nibble at first and nibble some more and try and wait until you get a real stretch in the price as it goes down before you take size. So it goes like this for me, 10, 10, 35, 150, 1,000. As an example, small, small, decent, big, ridiculously huge. I almost never get to the ridiculously huge though. So what he's basically saying is, is it's the please go lower strategy because when it drops down and it hits these small layers, you're not making money. So if you don't do please go lower, then you're saying please go up. That's when you lose money. You cannot afford to do this where you're just losing money like that because you will lose a lot of money and I'm sorry, 
but you will lose a lot of money doing this. Um, let's pull up a trade that um, uh, that I did this morning. And let me pause this. Okay, here we go. So um, there's a couple of rules that I just want to go over really quick, especially with when it comes to crap coins. This is a crap coin. It's only been out since December 6th. Th these are rules that are broken. So you're going to have to binge watch Quickfingers Luke's videos. Um, and th this is just one of these rules that like, you know what I mean? Like you just can't break this rule unless you know what you're doing. In this case, it, it hasn't even been around for that long, but it dropped super hard, super fast. And this is what happened. I bought it right here. I sold some right here. It came down further. I bought some right there. I got lucky. It was literally the bottom right there. And then I sold some right there. Now I made profit on this, but I didn't know it was going to shoot back up. And, um, it was happening so fast. Like this happened within like one minute, like literally was like within a minute. So it came down, like here's one minute right here. Then the se second minute, the price dropped even more. I bought some, I sold it. It came down one minute, two minute, hit my next one. And then it, it was going up and I thought it was going to continue going down further because it's a crap coin and I don't want to touch it, but it continued to go up. And that's the thing about it is you can't predict this stuff. And so you really do have to like stick to the rules. So like when I say watch quick fingers, Luke's videos, I'm talking binge watch them like at least two times in a row. And some of them are 30 minutes long. Like you really have to invest that time educating yourself. I, I can't do that in this video. You know what I'm saying? Like it really does. It's an art form. Um, and so you're really going to have to spend that time doing that. And think about this. I have been trading this and like, while I, while I'm getting, you know, some success with like, you know, these trades right here, I, I'm successful in this and I'm doing them correctly. Um, here's one that I was a little bit riskier on and, and it didn't go well, um, right here. Um, two times, actually two times in a row, I got burned on this coin. And like, if you look at what happened, um, it, it came up and this is a different strategy, but what I'm showing you is like, it's above the wholesale line right here. It came up and then I bought a small, small medium and and then it was dead. And I'm like, uh, that was not what I was wanting it to do. I was imagining it to come down and then come back up and then I would sell right there. So I was trading elsewhere and I made enough profits where I was like, you know, I'm just going to let this one go. I don't want to have to worry about this anymore. I had more money further down here and I just sold it at a very small loss. No big deal. Then it shot up and I was like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Um, and so I bought a very, very small amount, sold it right there, bought again, a small amount, then bought a slightly bigger amount, bought the same slightly bigger amount, and then bought a little bit bigger amount. And and now look, it's it's getting close to selling right here, but it's not selling, it comes down, it comes back up. It's like stuck right here. And then I've got an alert right here. And then I've got more money further down waiting for it to just drop down, spike down. And then I can, you know, exit at either break even or um, at a small profit. So you can see like not all of these trades go really well. And with these three S uh, coins also, like I don't recommend it, but like I know what I'm doing with this. Um, in this case, like I bought a small amount and then I was like, no, I'm going to buy an even smaller amount because I can tell like this is going to drop and it did. And so I bought a very small amount right here as well, slightly bigger than this one. And then I bought some more and look, this is where I would have broken even between these three buys. And you can see like it came up and I, I didn't sell at a loss and I'm still waiting this one out because I want to get my price right here. I want to sell it right there because everything above here is at a profit to me. And so you can see like, if it goes down further, then I've got enough capital to get more. So all of these things that I'm telling you are in the quick fingers loop videos. I'm just kind of like filling you in on the game. Now let's talk about once you've made your money trading the strategy, which again, I've tried all the strategies. This one is the most profitable. Um, I, you can even set up robots to do this for you. And it's amazing. Like highly, highly, highly recommend focusing on this. Like in your life, this will help you retire. That's why we're looking at this right now. Um, but let's talk about withdrawing your money. Um, with Coinbase, uh, I think you can do that right here. Um, they, they have like help documents, um, but you can withdraw it to your bank account right here and they charge like a fee. Um, then on Kraken, they actually have uh, wire transfers um, and then they also have like ACH, which takes a couple of days, but this is like a $4 fee, very small, especially if you're like making a lot of money. Um, and so the way that that would work is you would have to learn how to, you know, again, withdraw and deposit using wallet addresses. Um, and every single exchange has wallet addresses. Um, you know, so these are like simple things that you can Google, you can get help support on these websites. Um, and again, testing small amounts 
moving, withdrawing and depositing between multiple addresses is like critical. Just test a small amount. If it confirms and it says yes, then transfer the rest of your money and you'll be good. And yeah, I mean, look at this, you know, go from buying this US dollar coin, transferring it into an exchange, trading it on a trading platform and buying low and selling high at a, at a you know, honest profit and having that go on for a couple of days, a couple of weeks and you're making profits and then you pull those profits out. You can keep them in those coins, like, you know, playing with the house money. Um, you can keep your profits in those coins and they'll shoot up like geysers and they'll double and triple your profits. Um, or, you know, you can, uh, let's say you do that and then you're ready to sell a little bit. Well, when you feel hot potato, pull out, you know, 30% um, of your profits. So it shoots up and I pull out my initial investment of what I invested right here. So I pull out my initial investment and then, you know, maybe I make five, 10, 20, a hundred dollars, depending on how big the, the trade is or how big the portfolio is. And then once it reaches a certain point, I can sell 30% of it right there. And let's say it comes down and it comes up a little bit further. I can sell 30% more and it comes down and it comes up a little bit more. I can sell 30% more. And now that that's in us dollars, now I will withdraw it by, you know, sending it to, in this case, I do the wire transfer with Kraken or you can do, you know, Coinbase um, where they'll allow you to cash out to your bank account. I don't use Coinbase for that purpose, but you can see that, you know, this is a very simple process. Buy US dollar, put it in an exchange, trade it back and forth and withdraw it to your bank account. Nice and simple, no investing money and, and hoping that, you know, the, the cryptocurrencies go up. Nope, I'm using my money to trade back and forth, pull out my initial investment, play with the house money. That's how you do it.